live. Hey, everybody. It is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and we are here on Wednesday for Merch Talk. How's it going, you guys? Who do I have with me today? Let's in do intros. Go How ahead. about Jeff? You go first. <laughs> I'm the candlestick maker. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Hey, everybody. I'm here. Hey everyone, I'm Chris, a thrift shop hustler. It's uh, Wednesday, it's hump day, and it's not that kind of hump day. It's the camel hump day, unfortunately. The day, the day is young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Welcome. Too. We are here to talk about Merch by Amazon, another print-on-demand stuff. Yay. Yay. Okay, so first let's talk numbers. It is a I new was... month. I think we talked, I, was, we're, I don't even know where I was last month. I know. Or last week. Last week. Yeah. I was in Dallas, right? Yes, you were. You were. Yeah, so we're home from the hurricane, from the... All that. Yeah, we ran away. Um. So, yeah, we're home now, and we're just... Yeah, I'm... I don't know what day it is. Yeah, you got to be exhausted. You've been doing a lot of work around the community and everything, so that is that is awesome of you to do. Um, and you, you took your family around and everything, too, which is awesome. You're a good mom. Oh, thanks. Yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, I, I shared some pictures of my kids. Um, you know, they they wanted to help. My husband went out and helped. He finally went back to work yesterday, but he was out helping demo houses like every single day up at 715 and out the door, um, ripping out sheetrock and everything like that. So we were in the, I think I was, I think I talked about this last week. I don't even know. But yeah, we were, our, our town was hit really, really hard. So I have a video up. So if you're interested in checking it out, the proceeds for that from that video are going to a GoFundMe for my town that was set up. How do we get on this topic? I don't my brain is so f f everywhere right now. That's so. all right. That's all right. That's all right. We just wanted to mention yeah. that you were you're doing your thing and Texas got hit hard and uh, it looks like Florida is gonna be next this weekend. So pray for everyone and everyone hopefully you're got out you got your supplies and you guys are ready. Uh, mm -hmm. check your pets and your senior citizens, make sure that everyone's cool because I guess Florida's gonna get hit either Sunday or Saturday night. Yeah, so. this weekend. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty scary. That thing is a behemoth. I mean, it, it, they said the eye was 25 miles across on that bad boy. Yeah. Just, just the eye. <laughs> okay. Anyway. It's not wet in the one corner of the world. The other corner is burning. So. <laughs> yeah. We had wildfires like literally like a, 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 a few blocks from us in Burbank. It was probably the biggest fire that has been, uh, for a hundred years on our hill, yeah. It's crazy. It's West Coast crazy. is burning. Portland. Yeah. Yep. So merch on numbers. Uh, let me. I guess I could talk about numbers. I sold the, the most number of shirts I've ever sold in a week. I sold nineteen shirts this week, and. Mm -hmm. What's awesome about that is some of the niches that I've always been uh, really into since I began. I've been doing really well. I've sold like, you know, 10 of this, six of that. And for me, I'm at tier 500. So that's amazing for me personally. So 19 is pretty good. And uh, we're doing well so far in September. Yeah, I've sold 21 shirts so far this month. But I have not listed any shirts at all. So there's that. How about you, Jeff? I'm beating you. I'm sorry. Oh, um, I, I've sold 29 shirts as of this morning. That's awesome. I think, so far. Month has picked up. And I think Joe posted in the group that he has sold 24 shirts. He may or may not jump in. He's got a bad tire. Yeah. I had that yesterday. <laughs> a bad tire? Yeah, I had to go replace. I actually ended up replacing all four. Oh. Well, Mercury, Mercury was retrograde till September 5th, so that explains that. Tinfoil hat time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we have uh, what do we have rising now? Uh, Mercury is now going forward, so all of our wishes and dreams are going to come true. Is that right? Okay. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, no, uh, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I mean, I, I haven't been posting a lot of stuff like I should be also. Um, I just teared up to 500 and, and it, for about a week I was posting 10 stuff every single day. And now for the last couple of days I've been kind of lazy and it's funny cause you know how we talk about if you post, we get more sales when yeah. I was, when I've been lazy the last few days, I've been getting a lot of sales. <laughs> <sighs> Send them my way. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yes, I'll take them. Pretty much reloads of drop shirts so yep me yeah too. I had, I'm, I'm sorry I interrupt go on 
No, I was saying, I, I'm sorry. I was saying I was doing the same exact thing. And that's a, that's a really easy thing to do if you're stuck in a rut, just to upload stuff that you, that's been pulled down. Do you have a lot pulled, Jeff? I oh. did yesterday. That's an eBay sale. Um, yeah, because I did a, uh, a set of Zodiac shirts, I guess, 90 days ago. And only one had sold. So yeah, I had a bunch uh, go down hey. yesterday. That's funny because some of my Zodiac shirts went down too. Yeah. But those so are going kind back of, down. Uh, spreading out, reloading them, and I'm doubling down on them. So as I reload them, I'm reloading them twice, you know, for 10 different colors. And yeah. Yeah. I, I also like, so I feel like I don't want to upload on mine yet because I'm already, okay, so you guys know I have a Patreon uh, page and I need to get my designs out to my patrons, but. I've been like all over the place. So I sent a message to everybody saying they're coming, but I wanted to get those done. Like, I feel like my responsibility is there for first getting them out because of yeah. people who believed in me. And so. as a person who runs a Patreon account myself, I totally understand you want to kind of like, the thing is for me, I always thought like, these are my number one fans and I didn't make sure that they're taken care of before I can do anything else. And trust me, I've, I've, I've done so many things that have make my, my Patreon account fall through the cracks. So you definitely want to stay on top of that for sure. Cause those are your, those are the people that are like, you know, they, they're your number one fans as far as I, I'm, I'm looking at it. Yeah. They like, they believe in you, right? Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Like, I don't want to let anybody down that, that puts their trust in me. So just send right. them all the shirts that you, where you removed. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my, that's my, um, this afternoon, I'm going to be working on those. I'm excited about that. Getting back on track. I'm ready to like get my life back to normal-ish. You know. Right. I hear you. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. The kids went back to school today. Yay! Finally. <laughs> That's exciting. They were out for two weeks. The hurricane. So I'm glad they're back to school today. Yeah. Okay. So let's. We were going to talk about these hurricane shirts. We talked about it last week and how it was like really not ethical and we were, you know, kind of split on what we thought about this. Yeah. You want to share some updates with us, Jeff? Sure. I will. <laughs> I jumped across the line. Um, I didn't do survivor shirts. I really do think those are gray and maybe wrong. What I did, what I thought was right is my, I had two shirts. I did three design, um, three to, Three listings based on two designs. One was Houston Strong, one was Texas Strong. And the, I did mention Hurricane Harvey in the comments or in the bullet points and title saying the, it was more of a support shirt, memorial shirt, because that's allowed, and saying how, you know, we need to stand behind these people as they rebuild and blah, blah, blah. And it, they went live, no problem, you know, within a half hour this past week. And I happened to log in last night on my iPad in bed while wasted on Ambien. And um, <laughs> I could just visualize that. Well, they were removed. Um, I mean, my dashboard, I had not gotten the email. So I go, oh, crap, and it says something about content policy. So I just went, deleted them right away out of my dashboard. So I never got the email. And that may be a trick we can discuss on another day. But so maybe it didn't hurt me since I didn't get the email. But I, what? <laughs> well, that's not a conspiracy theory. But yeah, out of curiosity, because I know earlier in the day, I did Hurricane Harvey in Merch Informer research, and there was over a thousand shirts. Well, I did that right after I got mine removed. It was below 500. And 10 minutes later, I did a refresh. It was around 400. And I kept on doing refresh every 10 minutes, and they were just purging them out. And it got down to a hundred and something last night. And I just checked a f before we went live and they're down to 148. Let me see. Let me do a refresh and see. Yeah, it's steady at 148 right now. And the problem is the ones that are remaining all mention Hurricane Harvey. I, the, the first shirt up says I survived Hurricane Harvey. So I don't know what the rationale is. Well, they may just haven't gotten them yet. There's yeah, they may yeah, they may have not gotten. They may have just been popped up today. Now I got a question for you, and this is kind of what I just thought right now. Um, are is Merchant Former? Does that, does that show just 
merch by Amazon shirts, or does it show private sales seller shirts? Yes, merch shirts. Okay, because uh, I was going to say if it, maybe they're private sellers that just haven't been taken down uh, yet. These are all the first one says I survive Hurricane Harvey, and then you got a bunch of Texas strong, um, Houston strong, and blah blah blah, Kingwood strong. Yeah, and um, so on last week's video, Chris Nelson left a comment. He did a or she, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl because it's. A, a puppet. I don't know. Um, so they, this person contacted Amazon and dropped their transcript of the chat in the comment section. So I'm going to screen share it. And so that, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile reading the comment section because uh, there's really good info there. So this was, uh, he contacted Amazon about Hurricane Harvey. Here's the transcript. This is like, hey, hey, how's it going? I see 850 listings. Um, and so they, he sent the link to the different listings and yeah, so they're thanking him and be assured they will be removed soon. So yeah. So for sure they're gonna be removed and yeah, anyway. So maybe I should have shared, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm glad that, I don't know, that they're being taken down. I agree on a lot of the shirt. I mean, doing a I Survived Hurricane Harvey when 70 people died, I think is poor taste. And that I would never do. Yeah. But I thought the ones I did were in better taste, you know, supporting the community type shirts and stand behind these people as they rebuild. Yeah, I think that. I, think I won't do it again, so. If there was a way for the money, like, okay, so the, I think I mentioned this last week. There, There's a lady in town who is spearheading all of the these shirts that are being made, um, but they're being funded through a, a, a company who's going to print the shirts out and all of the proceeds are going back into the community. So that is like where I feel like it should go, but I know Amazon doesn't have a way. I wish they had a way because then that could be, you know, a nice way to earn money for, for victims, you know. Now you can price mine low. It wasn't my normal prices. You know, I want to <laughs> earn a big profit, but like I said, my philosophy was stand behind the people of Houston, Texas, in a way for others to show their support. But yeah, I, I really want to make "I Survive Monday" shirts now, or something <laughs> like that. I survive summer with my kids. Uh, barely. But the Irma, Irma shirts are already up. I know Chris uh, put me a post the, um, last night showing all the Irma shirts. Yeah. I'm just not going to touch them anymore. I, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> but but I mentioned this to you, you earlier, and I'll put this out. It depends on the platform is the word I'm looking for. Because while Amazon went and removed them, another platform that I put the shirts on is featuring them on their front page. So, I don't know. Who was it? Oh gosh, it was Nick in the chat, but I, last week, but I can't remember what site he was saying. You were able to select somebody to. Oh gosh, for the money to go to. Mm. I can't remember which POD. Teespring, Redbubble, one of those. Steve is Steve is our resident comedian in the chat today. Apparently. I know that. Do you want to <laughs> do you want to say that? That's funny. He says, he says I survived my colonoscopy. I'm supposed to get mine this month. Yeah. Are you going to live stream it? If you're, uh, uh, probably not. <laughs> I, I'm getting it from both ends because oh. I have to get an endoscopy every year because of my stomach issues, and I just turned fifty, so <laughs> they do it at the same time. Yeah, they because they just put you out, and they're going in the both ends at the same time. Well, they might do That's one time? person the other, and they better use a different camera. <laughs> You never oh, know. <laughs> Maybe but, you should yeah. live stream it. <laughs> you do it while you're out. They'll do both procedures. <laughs> yeah, I, wonder that, if they, I bet they do. Out one side, in the other. Uh, I don't know if they could do <laughs> No, don't. <laughs> this, this really took a turn. Thanks, Steven. <laughs> I need a little laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call them because they haven't called me back and I'm supposed to get that scheduled. So uh, Dave in the chat saying that Amazon took uh, his Texas Strong and Houston Strong shirts down. Yeah. Okay, e pardon me. E-Boy in the chat is asking for what's your best 
tip for a merch newbie. And I actually have a compilation video coming out. I'm waiting on Chris Me? and you. Gosh, come on, guys. <laughs> I spent like uh, all night doing them the other night, man, and they, I thought they came out really cool. They did, and I'm, I have a few people that are tardy sending me their clips. That's okay. Yeah. But anyway, what's your, what's your best tip for a merch newbie? Patience. 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 Young grasshopper, you must have patience. I like uh, getting into niches that you know about, like diving into subjects that you know about, because you know what kind of stuff you know you like, and you know if it's popular, you'll be able to kind of leverage that kind of knowledge. <laughs> Sorry, I got to read the chat for a minute. Um, um, my my tip for a newbie is definitely to familiarize yourself with a trademark. Well, how to find out if a, a term or phrase is trademark because it'll save you a lot of uh, headache along the way. Yeah. I'm not going to read what, what Steve said, but my sister's there. Hey, Elaine. How's it going she, in the chat? What? what? She e boy? No, Elaine McMurray. She oh, says, is that? I my medical bill. <laughs> <laughs> when is she going to come? She needs to come on one of these live shows for sure. Yeah. Hey, awesome. Elaine. If winners in school, I'll send you the link. You are you presentable? You can come <laughs> hang out with us and talk merch. <laughs> we will we will accept unpresentable also. Oh, even when she's not presentable, she's more presentable than most. We'll just <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a link. So if you want to jump in, Elaine, you can come talk merch with us. <laughs> anyway, wait, what were we, what else? Oh, we were gonna talk about Printful too. Printful. Yeah. That's my fanboy site. Well, talk about Printful for a I second. And then today off Printful and yesterday, sales are picking up. I love that. Getting the, the email message saying I've sold something on my website and I don't have to lift a finger. What do you want me to say? <laughs> have you done any with the integration? Ah, uh, you know better than that. No. Oh, yeah, I do. Darn it. <laughs> I told I've you. I've done your other integrations, not... but I have not done the Etsy integration. I compl I just, yeah, my, my mind isn't here. Because you can put, you can integrate with Inktail, Store Envy. Um, I'm trying to bring them up. I have them on this other page. Um, where's uh, let's see, where do they integrate with uh, WooCommerce, Shopify, Big Cartel, Big Commerce, um, Gumroad, Webly. Now Etsy, um, I said Intel, Ticktail, mm -hmm. Amazon, said Store Envy, and with ShipStation, you can also, as a middleman, integrate with eBay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plug Jeff for a second. <laughs> um, it is hump day after all, but in the description down below there is Jeff's. Um, oh, what's it called? link to sign up for Printful. So go click on Jeff's link to sign up for Printful if you haven't. And then if you decide you want to do the Etsy integration, I have a link down there for 40 free Etsy listings because they're 20 cents a piece otherwise. So there's that. And yes, this is my design and it's a Printful shirt. Very nice. <laughs> You're getting kudos on it. Okay, now, um, okay, so it on the Facebook group, Somebody, oh, I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. I'm going to say somebody asked. Somebody asked about the Etsy integration, and I wanted to share real quick um, that she was asking what all you had to do. And there was one part on the Etsy integration that I forgot. I don't think this is the right one. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Err, listings. I, I, I kept one in draft on purpose to show you but oh my gosh look how slow it's being i know no revenue what's going on you're like the queen of etsy this is not my normal etsy store and there oh, was like 37 dollars waiting to download thank you very much <laughs> okay so here's these socks right so i had these um with my design put on them this is the motorboating design so you would come over and you would fill out this you know the title and all that most of this is already filled in uh, and then anything that you want to say about your socks, you would put in here. And then it's really important that you add, make sure you add your production partner. That was the part I forgot in the video is to make sure you do that. Yeah. Um, and then there's the, you know, the tags and all that good stuff. So I'll link, I did those two videos last week. So I'll, I'll link them up here mm -hmm. afterwards. 
My sister's not here yet. She says she's coming and bringing Biscuit. Yes. She's bringing Biscuits? <laughs> no, her cat's name is Biscuit. Oh, damn. Biscuit and Mango. Yeah. Sitting in a tree. Yeah, yeah. Mango's staring out the window, drooling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> see, or with Printful, you can sell, like you said, the socks. They have skirts. They have all over print, you know, sublimation shirts. Oh, yeah. They have uh, sublimation towels, beach towels. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Canvases, mugs, bags, hoodies, bags, like embroidered hats too. I still have to learn about that one. Yeah. So, I because I was when when I was doing all this, I was at the hotel, and you know my kids are we were in one room. So they when they fell asleep, all I did was just start uploading my designs to Printful because you can have them there, and then later I was going to start pushing them. To Etsy, so there, I have a ton of designs up there ready to roll, but just haven't had the moment yeah. to do that. I wish they would come out with a tool kind of like Red Bubble, where you can take one design and push all the products to wherever you're pushing it to. But they haven't done that yet. There she is. Hello, Elaine. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you, Maggie. Me too. How are you doing? Good. Good. How are y'all doing? Wait, wait a minute. Where's our love? <laughs> I, I'm asking how y'all are doing. Good, good. Hello, nice to meet you. Good. You too. You said it was good to see Maggie, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> it right. is crazy. I've been watching y'all now for a while. Let me just go over to the corner. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Sliding mm -hmm. out the picture. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> so how is your how is your merch going, Elaine? Um, believe it or not, I sold three shirts on the weekend of Hurricane Harvey. Is that yeah. weird? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. You didn't make any hurricane shirts, did you? No. No, no. No, um, the only reason I would if, if all proceeds would go to, you know, flood victims. But no, I haven't. I've been too caught up in everything else, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So y'all are on the subject of Amazon taking those down. For mm -hmm. people trying to profit on that, yeah. 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 Make me feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you been doing any designs lately? Yes. You know, the, the guy that was asking, what would you suggest advice for newbies? Mm -hmm. Get a book. And keep it all in the same spot, because every time I'm, like, driving around thing, I have this idea. And I write it down, and then I had notes laying everywhere. But if I keep it in that one catalog, I can always go back to it and like make another ten designs off of one idea. So yeah, yeah. that's my girl. Look right here. I have one right in front of me at all times. It's a pocket. Oh, cool. Thing. Yep, yep. Always have a notepad with you or your phone. Yeah, I'm old, I send I'm, myself text messages. Yeah, yep. I'm old school though. I love the pen and the paper. See, I need to do that because then they get. I, I text myself and I message myself, but then they get lost in the texting, right? Because apparently I text myself other stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I'm, just, yeah. I'm texting myself all day. Use the iPhone's note app, so I have it. It automatically syncs to my desktop, so I have <sighs> a notebook of all my notes while I'm out. That's a good and idea. I people who I go up to them in their face and take a picture of their chest if I like their shirt, and Ooh. then I run real fast. Yeah. Have you gotten away without getting any black eyes yet? I'm a fast runner. Okay. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Got so lots of people in the what chat. What, what? What are y'all doing? What are y'all talking about now? I was trying to link and log in here. What I missed? Not a lot. No, we're talking about Printful now. Yeah, we were talking about the Printful integration, which I'll have to show you later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, someone, oh, go someone, ahead. Uh, someone in the chat, Rope and Reseller, that's a really cool name, was asking what level or what tier is Elena in? Oh, 25. 25. Well, you sh you've sold at least 25 shirts by now, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I just, I it, let's see. November will be a year since I actually turned in my invitation. And I wasn't accepted until, what was it? March of this year mm -hmm. and then when I started trying to learn how to do the designs I guess you could say start selling since 
I did, I think I did sell one in March. So since May, so I'm still rather new. But how many shirts do you have live? 17. <laughs> If you get three more up there or four more up there, I bet you you get tiered. Yeah, Jeff's theory is if you have 80% full, they'll, they'll tear you up. Oh, okay. All you right. I'm still one. trying to learn how to edit, in, and I have the um, Photoshop, the Adobe Illustrator. Not Adobe Illustrator. Photo Elements, that's what it's called. So I'm trying to learn that because I feel like I have more freedom with it. But, I mean, it's like going down in a rabbit hole. I'll, I'll be in there for hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank, thank God winter's back in school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mine went back today, so. Good. Maybe now I can start learning Illustrator. Because I, I, I started paying for the Adobe Suite as well, so I could learn all that. Can you haven't downloaded it yet, have you? I haven't. I haven't. I just got home. No, no excuse. No what? No excuse. No excuse. I said something like that on one of my Instagram. I posted something on Instagram about not being so hard on myself, and somebody in the comments was like, "I totally disagree with this. You got to hustle hard, hundred percent every day." I'm like, "You yeah, know what world? What world do you live in?" <laughs> and there's a hurricane. So I'm like, it's cool. <laughs> I stopped being hard on myself a long time ago. Yeah, me too. I take my naps when I want to. Go watch TV, play video games. Yay, kitties. That's Biscuit. Mango. Mango is a friend. Yeah, Elaine, Elaine's... <laughs> <laughs> You're protecting his modesty. <laughs> <laughs> that, folks, is a cat butt. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine, that's not the funny We also thing. call that the stamper. <laughs> he likes to stamp our furniture. Oh, no. <laughs> Margaret has lost it. <laughs> are they star are they starfish designs? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, when Winter started school last week, he was talking about Biscuit, and <laughs> he made the comment that he likes to stamp her furniture. And she, <laughs> she didn't get what he really meant about it. She's like, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. My sister made me laugh. Okay. Oh, oh. that's lovely. <laughs> Can you wait? He, looks, he actually kind of looks like Mango. Jeff's cat. Don't do that right now. Thank you. Gosh, Just lay I'm all white. White in the paws. I know we're supposed to be talking about merch, but right now I forgot what it is. Sorry. Talking. I was distracted. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Thelma was saying you're kind of blurry, but but Elaine's Wi-Fi or her, her internet is like out in the middle of nowhere. So. I think what might help too is uh, is Elaine, is your, is your lens dirty? Maybe if you want to wipe your lens, that might help a little bit. Does it look like it's smudged? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what about now hey that actually helped yeah okay, okay. <laughs> no. okay you can't smell anything right no no it is steve i swear we're talking we are talking merch today yes i know he who is he to talk he's the one that's been sidetracking this whole show the whole day <laughs> Honestly, honestly, I don't mind that if we're not like super on track because I'm just yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I need a little laugh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, how about how about her? Have you guys started making any Halloween shirts? Ooh. I did uh, a couple weeks ago. I put up uh, six or seven or eight. Nothing yet. No sales yet. No. Yeah, I haven't been doing that. I'm bad at merch. I'm like the worst at like doing that kind of stuff. Oh, well, yes, I got Oktoberfest and um, breast cancer awareness, and I forgot the other one. Well, don't, don't you have to be ahead of holiday stuff? Because it seems like they already have all their Christmas stuff out. So you should have been selling Halloween back in July, right? Right. Yeah. I don't know. 
I think people actually don't buy until the month of or yeah. I don't know. Uh, Thelma Thrift in chat saying Elaine needs to start a YouTube channel today. <laughs> I keep telling her that. I'd watch it. Yeah. <laughs> like people don't care. You can talk about dirt. Oh, oh I got a lot of that. <laughs> Y'all want to see my garden? Sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some shirt ideas. It's not done yet. I wonder if I can move this screen. Hold on. Let me move my other pet. Oh, here we go. Just this is Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> I should have known. This is going to get and, totally derailed. And Steve <laughs> likes donuts. Yeah. So does uh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. That's Steve. <laughs> All right, I don't know if I can get it to turn all the way. I'm not done with it, but let's nope, see if there, we, here we go. It. But we can get shirt ideas. This is the, okay. Here's the thing: everybody has to come up with a shirt idea. From Elaine has now lost her. Connection. Okay, here here's my shirt idea. I break stuff. That's my I font. My, my font shirt idea. I like it. I break stuff. Mine is dinosaur eating a donut. <laughs> ring toss donut donut <laughs> ring toss. <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, Jeff. I'm not going there. Come on. What? You, you okay. He's I only buy when he's saving designs. it up. What? <laughs> I buy pre-made designs. Oh. Oh, what? No, you're creative, Jeff. Don't yeah. Say. <laughs> she must have unplugged her computer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, so... uh or a dinosaur, like, trying to do his gardening, but, like, his little hoe. And, you he know, can't. He can't do hey, it. Hey, so uh, anyone in the chat room, if you have any questions, please leave them in the chat below. We will try to get to each one of those if you have any questions about merch. Actually, Jeff, I actually have one thing. You mentioned sublimation, and do you want to explain that real quick? Because there might be people that don't know exactly what you were talking about when you said that. Um, well, I, the process is different. Um I don't know how they actually do it in the, in the, in the like printful. I know at home we do it. You have to print. It's a special ink called sublimation ink onto a uh, paper or whatever, and then you heat press it or whatever onto the shirt. But it's basically, in layman's term, an all-over print. So you the entire shirt is your design print. Edge right. to edge. And I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how Amazon or printful would do that. I know Amazon doesn't. But printful does. I don't know exactly how they do it. I haven't watched the video, but yeah, it's from, you don't have, you're not limited to the little box. It will go all over the sleeves, all over everywhere in the back. So sorry uh, about that. If you have oh. ideas like that, print full is the way to go for those. Gotcha. Well, Lane's back. Uh, how, how did that work out for you? My plug's too sh My cord's too short. I hate, I hate that. I say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> I have a oh, picture. Well, maybe next time. I got a picture, but I'm going to cover up when... Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Making sure I got... There. There's a good picture. Yeah. Oh, there that's cool. <laughs> cool. It's about so you have a the third through. So I said we do have a question in the chat. Maybe you have some more pictures. I don't know. Yeah, that was a good picture, Maggie. I just we were coming up with T-shirt ideas like a dinosaur and a donut and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Dinosaurs and donuts. Who wouldn't like that? Uh, yeah, my exactly. my idea was I came up with I break stuff. Just a three word shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's like a full time job for a toddler. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so the do the dinosaur has the donut, but his little arms are too short. So he can't eat it, and so he's like, got sad tear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like when, when Jim Carrey did the apocalyptic Elvis. <laughs> okay, so we have a question in the chat from E-Boy. He asked, or she, I don't know. Jeez, I'm, I'm doing that again. Do you get a better print on anvil shirt as compared to premium shirt thoughts well 
I don't think there will be a really a real print difference. It's the quality of the shirt. The anvil shirts are going to be your typical canvas or shirt that are stiff, a little rough, whatever. Where the premium is going to be more like your Bella can. I think it is a Bella canvas, which is a softer, uh, higher, whatever they call it, threading. And the, the the Heather shirts too. My dad ordered one of Elaine's shirts, and that it was like the Heather blue one, and it was like really really soft. Even though it wasn't under like the premium Bella canvas ones. It yeah. was way softer than the normal. Like I ordered the anvil shirts for me and the guys, but the the heather ones were just. Well, the anvils are one hundred percent cotton, and the heathers have polyester in them. Okay, because even my dad was like bringing it to me. He's like, "Feel this shirt. It's so soft." <laughs> Here, smell this. <laughs> yeah, he would. Sounds like vinegar. <laughs> no, he didn't say. Oh, he can't smell anything. He worked at chemical plants for forever. Yeah. He can't smell a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> As long as you haven't grown like a third arm or anything, I guess he should he could be fine, right? As long as we can't see it. That's <laughs> but he does have a dog. I need to mention that. And dogs follow right behind him with dog bombs. <laughs> he can't smell it. It's cool. He can't smell it. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good. That might be a good thing for sure. And the premium shirts also look by the photos. So I'm just assuming like that they're longer than the standard one. So you can wear them as an eye cam if you want. For, for myself, I've, I've never purchased a premium shirt before. Have you guys ever purchased premium shim shirts? No. I've purchased – this one is a Gildan, I think, from Printful. And then I, I just ordered some Bella canvases from Printful last when, week. Which when I, they – oh, go on, go on. No, I love it. Well, I, when it was American Apparel, I did order one. I think I mentioned this before, and the, the sizing was so off. I ordered the extra large from the American Apparel ones, and it it fit a friend of mine who was a size medium. I couldn't, I couldn't even. Yeah, it was horrible. Well, bottom line, which one sells the most? Anvil or the standard? Okay, and that's what I well, would do. Since I have the slots now, I'm going back and doing all my best sellers in premium as well. So. People have options. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. How, how's that working for you, Jeff? Have you done it yet or no? I've done it. Um, I've, I've listed about a dozen premium shirts. I haven't sold any. Okay, because that's actually a good. That's actually a really good experiment. Uh, Elaine, have you ever purchased any of your shirts that you that you created? Yeah, I, I I did, and I mean I know the the computer monitor the colors vary, so they actually came out a lot lighter than than what you see on Amazon. Mm, so I w but nobody said anything about it. So I guess you, it's not an issue. And you were using Photoshop Elements? Um, no, Maggie helped me do it with all the other. Oh, it's um, her fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> Great, but your sister. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, yeah, Photoshop. I think uh, Jeff might be a better uh, person to say, to talk about this, but maybe it could have been the RGB, the CYA, you know what I mean? The, that okay, kind yeah. of color, mm -hmm. the color spacing. Well, if they did it in um, Butt Monkey or whatever that. <laughs> no, then, no, no, not so much. The design came out lighter. They oh, actually sure. t shirt from Amazon. Yeah. So when they display them for the colors that you can choose, yeah. you know, I ordered that. What's the gray one called? Feather gray? No. Oh. Like a silver. Not, there's not silver, the one up from that. Asphalt, asphalt or uh, yes, asphalt. Mm -hmm. I ordered the asphalt one, but it came out like a really light dove gray. Hmm. Well, everyone's every monitor is different. And yeah, so I recommend anyone doing any type of graphic photo work, whatever, to calibrate your monitor. Which I know it's not in the realm of a lot of people, but if you're doing a lot of graphic work, you might want to look into that. Okay, thank you. That's a good idea. The other thing too that, that Maggie taught me is that I may like say this color or that color, but I actually choose the colors for other options that I didn't like and I actually sold those. So as long as I don't narrow it down to my own opinion, I feel like I'll have more sales, you know. I kind of do that. <laughs> yeah. I, when I first started, I'd say I don't like this color or 
I'll never do this. I like I never do yellow. I hate yellow, and I won't I won't do yellow. But normally I do across the top. I do heather gray, heather blue, black, navy, and then the cranberry. And that's one listing, and I'll do another listing with slate, asphalt, pink, and then I'll just pick you know either light blue or green, olive or purple. Yeah, yeah. I like all the colors up there, but I'll, I hate yellow, and I won't do yellow. Now I got it. Well, depending on the design, if you need yellow to make it pop. Yeah, I agree, but I just you know, I think like I there's t-shirt colors I wouldn't have worn, but it you know it made the design pop. So just giving it that background enhanced it so much more, and they sold. Would I ever wear that? No, but it sold. Whoever wears yellow, there's something wrong with this. So that's <laughs> Say well, what? Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. I was going to ask right now, um, <laughs> Elaine, Elaine, since you're a beekeeper, there's always been kind of wise tales about how yellow, the shirt yellow attracts bees. Is that true? No. Yes, that's why I don't do yellow. No, that's not true. Tell Where, them what color actually attracts bees. We've learned. I know now. I know now. <laughs> tell them. You. So there's well, a reason beekeepers wear white suits, right? Because, and then my mom made a patch for you, but the patch was like a black patch. And so they're more. They target right there. So they're more attracted they to. Target right there. That's dark. where they kept stinging me. Yeah. They're attracted to the dark colors, right? Mm -hmm. Follow me around, I guess. You don't like yellow? No, I don't like yellow. What about now? It looks green to me. <laughs> So wait, bees are attracted to black? Is it because of the heat, the way it absorbs heat? No, they're not attracted to the black. They're going to attack the black because you look like a bear or you're simulating a, a predator that's going to come and, and ransack their hive. Oh, so it has nothing to you. I was going to say it has nothing to do with their visuals or like the way their, their eyes are set up or anything like that. No, no, but like I had my nightgown on and I went outside and it had little tiny flowers on it. So they're all over there trying to like get the no, pollen off no. the print. <laughs> but um, no, black is something you don't want to wear. Some people argue that red might cause them to sting you, but I've never had an issue with that. So, okay. so when, it, when it comes to beekeeper shirts, then would you avoid making shirts that are for beekeepers, avoid making them with a dark color? Or do you think they just probably wouldn't sell as much? No, they, they sell just as well because they usually don't wear the t-shirts when they're out beekeeping. You got the northerners, which are like zen, and they go out there without a shirt. And then you got the people down in south that have Africanized bees, and they ain't going out there without a suit. So it's either one or the other. It's either beekeeping or fully suited beekeeping. There's not really a between. <laughs> but usually the t-shirts are all casual anyway, so... Uh, the, the beekeeping community is really proud of beekeeping, so that's a cool little edge I have on that because they're, they want to wear it. They want to, you know, tell people about beekeeping and stuff like that, about honeybees in general. So it's, it's not so much the attire that they can't wear during beekeeping, but they're going to wear it everywhere anyway like any other design would. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah. But yeah, if you want to get stung, you can wear a black one out there. No thanks. <laughs> I saw some questions pop up in the chat. Pardon me. Um, let's see. Where to go? I know you had grabbed a few, Chris, but mm -hmm. okay, go on. Why don't we start with those no. and then I'll. Oh no, I was going to say like if we learned anything today, I know this show's kind of got gone sideways like many times but the whole thing about the bees and everything that's that's interesting and i think that's very something interesting to know about merch you know there's 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 all about designs but there's also this environmental thing to kind of look at too and it's, it's really interesting that you know merch can go so deep as far as like what animals are attracted to what kind of colors and things like that so i think that's really cool yeah i mean if i really wanted to be cruel i could put some targets on a t-shirt and <laughs> <laughs> and promote those as, you know, beekeeping jokes. But <laughs> it's cool because that whole, uh, I guess, subject, really, you can really fine-tune it. And I, I'm wondering if that's, you know, like with other subjects, 
like what Jeff was saying, if you can find a subject that you're already well educated in and then just hone that and, and zoom in on that, and then if it has an underlying cause to it, even the more better. I mean, it, it, it's, it's going to be better to sell that because people are going to want to support it anyway. Right. In the fancy term, they call that niching down. So, anyway. I'm a nicher. You're a nicher. Yeah. Okay, Diane wants to know what, what you're growing. I know this isn't merch related, but hey. Do what? What are you growing? What are you going to grow? Are you getting your fall garden ready? Is oh, yeah. Thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, mostly yes. herbs right now. Going to be getting some shrubs and trees in. And as far as vegetables, like carrots, beets, kale, chard, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, um, any kind of fall or winter crop right now. So we have a little bit more time here to grow something longer than everybody else up north. So, yeah, yeah. My, my, that's what I was saying. My silver lining was I didn't start my fall garden. I procrastinated. So my, my garden didn't get started. So, yay. Mm -hmm. And then Thelma asked, um, she asked if I had an ebook for beginners. I don't, but that's something to think about for sure. Joe, Joe has been pushing me or saying I should start doing, because he's done, what are his on? Designs and like niches and stuff like that. No, Joe, Joe's Joe's got a good business plan as far as taking your knowledge and making ebooks. That's just smart. Um, okay. I thought like eventually once I have enough uh, know your stuff videos, I was gonna make a DVD or a Blu-ray and kind of sell that too. So it's like something oh. someone can watch or something like that instead of something someone can read. Yeah, that's cool. Visual. Mm -hmm. Diana asks Elaine, how did you go about getting tiered up from ten, or did you start at twenty-five? No, I started at ten, and I guess. I mean, I honestly don't know why they tiered me up to 25. I don't, still don't know how that works, but it, it could be because of a few um, designs that were just selling really well. And yeah. um, I don't know if it matters at all when you're in a certain number and if you focus on one subject or two subjects and not just all over the place, that I don't know if that has something to do with it because the more tiers you have, the more subjects you can have, it, you know, especially if you're going to do multiple T-shirts of one design that you may change color or just, you know, turn the design upside down or just change it, modify it in some way, even though it's the same underlying design. I don't know if that has something to do with it, but it sure can plug in all those, you know, slots that you have to help yourself build up. Yeah, and you, when you got teared up, you had all your spots filled, all you had all 10 filled, and you had made what, like seven sales or something? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah, and I have one design that has really been selling good above all other designs. So I know that Amazon doesn't do like baseball hats. Do y'all do y'all have any feedback on that? Um, yeah, yeah, about yeah. taking your design and putting it on a hat? Yeah, the Printful integration with Etsy, there's a way to do like embroidered hats. Can y'all put a link on that for everybody and, and, and for me? Because I, I would like to take that design up another level and, and yeah. I did, broaden I, its availability through different apparel. That'd be cool. So I, I have Jeff's link to sign up for Printful, and then I have – I did two videos about setting up your Printful integration with Etsy. So, But I'll walk you through it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Link it all down there so we can help you guys and help ourselves. Uh, okay, and then Dave, oh, I just lost it. Okay, there it goes. Dave asked, do you folks create a dark version and a light version of your designs? What color, what t-shirt color palette do you use for each version? That's a yeah. loaded question for sure. Loaded? Yeah, it's like, it's like involved. Like that, that's, that's a hugely oh, involved I do. answer. Yeah. yeah, like, so when I did my motorboating shirt, I had a white that went on the dark colors, and then I had a light that went on the... Wait, the dark that went on the light colors, vice versa, whatever. Yeah. And I found that even if you have like an all white graphic, I do at least I do two listings with that, and you can get ten shirts on it. Although the white would still look good, and then I do the dark dark with a black graphic. I don't find as much. I only do one listing with five shirts. Yeah, yeah. for for me, like what I. I also will change up my design a little bit as far as sometimes for like if I have a, 
uh, a design that's more geared towards a lighter color shirt and I want to put on a darker, I'll create a border, like a white border that goes around the whole graphic so that the the graphic will will, will push out against the the, the black uh, design. It just, it just makes it easier for me to go from white to black because sometimes designs don't transfer well over from one end to the other. So you have to, I usually create a border to modify that so people oh, can see okay. the graphic. Yeah. That's a good idea. I thought of that. Hmm. And now what yeah. I mean what I mean by border not like a like a like a like a square but it's actually a border that wraps around whatever the design is. Yeah, like an edge. Like an edge thing. Yeah. It's called a stroke. A stroke? Yeah, stroke. 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 Yes, it's called a stroke. Okay, Steve, uh, I think Steve's going to play off of that one. Okay. Okay. That's, that's the one, one of the main things you're going to have to learn in Illustrator is stroke and fill. That's what he said. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Melinda asks, how many variations do you generally do of a design? Do you do a separate listing for men, women, and youth so that it shows up three times in search? No. I, I like, I, like I just said, I'll do a white design on two listings with ten different colors, and I might do the dark design on another listing with five colors, but all of them are going to have men, women, and youth checked off. Yeah, always not or always check all those boxes unless it's like a, an adult themed uh, shirt. I mean, that's for me personally. I won't I won't put a youth uh, something that's like drinking or like something else, you know, like adult kind of themed. I won't check the youth box. That's just me. Though. I knew. <laughs> well, not because it's for kids, because I want to make sure I, I know I've said this before, but like I had a friend who was a grown woman and she wore a kid size large. And oh, you know, you know, the, you I, know agree. Their, uh, I agree. I, I I check it off just for that purpose. And or if you're a little person, Aaron Lannister is short, and he might yeah. wear kids' shirts. I don't you know. know what? I I never thought of that. That's a that's great. I never no. I really never thought of like that. That that was a situation for some. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Great. No. Or if you're a little person, then you might need so it. So no, so so now all my keep calm, hit the bong shirts are gonna have youth sizes now. Yeah. <laughs> You never know. You never know. <laughs> Somebody might want to buy a small kid size for their dog and make like a dog shirt out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's your shirts for dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Grimfo used to have, I think it was Grimfo, used to have pet shirts. I don't think they have them anymore. That would be fun. <laughs> they have onesies for babies, but not mm -hmm. the shirts. Um, let's see. I know I saw another. I'm sorry if I skipped a question. But I'm maybe not. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys want to share where everyone can find you and plug all your fancy things that you plug? Hey, Jeff, you go first. No. Do it. No. Okay, that's Jeff. Awesome. <laughs> I'm pulling my cereal. Jeff, Jeff, that's his YouTube. He tagged in the chat. You can find his links down below for his My Multiple Streams. Dot com as well as his affiliate links for Printful that you were going to need when you set up your Printful account. All right, and you know, sell lots of shirts. Yeah. <laughs> all right, your turn, Chris. Hey everyone, I'm Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. You can find me on YouTube and check out all my different kind of things and whatever and stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll leave a we'll leave a link. Uh, I, I give you up. got this. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Subscribe to Margaret's channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please, you are, you're doing yourself a huge disservice if you're not subscribed to Margaret's channel. How's that? <laughs> I think you need another Red Bull. <laughs> you know my stomach condition I talk about? Mm -hmm. It's caused by Red Bull. <gasps> yeah. So drink up. Yeah, I don't drink too many of them though. But yeah, my doctor said that that you know you shouldn't really even drink those at all, anything. But I would like to say thank you, Elaine, for stopping by. Sure, thanks for inviting me. Do you have anything you want to plug? Like your, I want to get some of your honey. Do you sell honey by the jar? I will, by any I will next year. Yes, I will. Okay, cool. I'll keep me posted. I definitely, I, will, I, sure I love, uh, definitely want some organic honey from Elaine. You got it. <laughs> and when no. Elaine gets her YouTube channel up and running. I have one channel, but I only put one video on there so far. Hey, I, but people want to, people love you and they want to come follow you. And I know, but not everybody likes stinging insects. So I need to change it up a little bit. 
No, you can, you can look at my channel. I got everything. You can put it all on there. Oh. Not all, but I was going to say, even Biscuit Stamper, huh? <laughs> yes. People would love to see that. It's on YouTube gold. <laughs> what was the video? It was me uh, making a queen pheromone tincture. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know the pheromones of the queen. That's what attracts the bees. I was making one of those. What yeah. Look, Lydia, Lydia said she's watched it. Jean has watched it. Oh, Thelma really? Says, you have? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Thelma says, "Turn that camera on and do vlogs, Elaine. People love you. you. Have such a good sense of humor. Oh my gosh, you crack me up all the time." Yeah. And Lydia says, "Just add some of your crafts, like those little donuts that you made." Okay. I yeah. finished those wind chimes with some of the extra stuff that your subscribers sent. Yeah, I got so another I'll bag. I have to send you some pictures. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, welcome. And if you are interested, I have a Patreon for merch by Amazon or print on demand where I make shirts and help people with their shirt design and print on demand businesses. Find the link down below and we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye for Bye. now. Good.